Hi there, this is Johnny, Man and Machine. This is going to be a run through of the new issues tool inside of Revit. Um, so this is going to allow you to create issues in BIM 360 or in Navisworks um, and then be able to pick those issues up actually in Revit. So this is fairly new, um, a fairly new feature. Um, I'm going to be doing it on a fairly simple project that I set up here. So I've got the architect lighting in the fire um, and then I've got a coordination folder. There is going to be a little bit of a requirement to understand how BIM 360 design works. So the way I'm running this project might be that these three disciplines are all working together um, and they're uploading their files through BIM 360 design using the consumed uh, way of working. So each of them essentially has a consumed folder in their folder and those models are what they are linking into their Revit projects. Um, so this is the model that we're going to be looking at. Um, I've pretty much got all of the tabs open ready to go on here. I will do a bit of jumping around um, in terms of what I click on, but this is a live demo. So everything we do is um, pretty much going to be live. Um, so what I plan to do is to use the coordination module to create an issue. Um, so we imagine maybe uh, we're some way through this project and we want to communicate some clashes to the um, lighting company to go and fix some things that are clashing with the fire um, installation things. So um, just to explain a little bit more about what we've got here, um, like I said, we've got the three disciplines. We also have the coordination folder. This is just something that happens uh, when you are using the, uh, the BIM 360 design module. Um, it will create a folder for shared models. And this is the folder I've used here. So whenever a company shares their model, this automatically gets that latest model, um, which is quite useful when it comes to model coordination because you can actually look at this folder and use those and have those automatically clashed. Um, so this is the BIM 360 design uh, folders. You can see I've, I've shared um, module. I've shared a couple of files here through these different companies. Um, for each of these, I'll have the project model. So like I say, I'm not going to go too much into um, the BIM 360 design module. It kind of needs to be a little bit of a basic understanding of it anyway. Um, but like I say, I'm going to be having a look at specifically at the uh, the fire and the, the lighting and the coordination between those two um, disciplines in this case. So moving on to the um, BIM 360 coordination module. So if I just look into my browser here, this is my uh, module that I'm looking at here. Um, I've got, uh, I've actually got four spaces that I'm running clashes in. Um, and this is probably how this would be set up in this case, this small project. The lighting would have their own, the architects would have their own, and the shared folder might be something that maybe the contractor uses to clash these models. And we're going to look at this um, in relation to the fire company. Um, and we're going to have these models, or we're going to look at the clashes in these models. So I'll just select the clashes. And we'll look at the clash matrix. Um, and like I say, we want to communicate to the lighting things that they might need to change um, because they clash with our fire um, installation. So if I click on the five clashes I've got with them, uh, we can see here that we have the list of the, the clashes. If I click on one of these, it just takes you to those clashes. So you can see here I've got um, a sprinkler pendant clashing with a, um, a light in here. And I want the, the lighting company to move um, this light based on this clash. So I could go through here and I could just um, have a look at each of these. Not something that I'm going to spend too much time um, on in here. I'm really looking at the issues being picked up inside of Revit so we can actually fix this issue. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, yep, this is an issue. Um, I'm then going to put the issue onto um, the clash. So it um, can be important as to what you actually put the, um, the, the, the point on. Um, you don't want to put it on anything kind of uh, random around. You want to make sure you get the right surface. Um, then you need to fill in all of the clash uh, the clash issue details. I'm not going to be too specific about anything there. And I'm just going to create that. Um, so I've created my issue now. And if you imagine, I went around and I did that with the other clashes there. Um, create all the clashes, assign them to the right person. Um, the person who I've assigned them to is then going to get the email to suggest that there's things that they might need to do. 
and they might pick that up inside of Revit. So I have Revit here, and I'm going to assume now that I'm the lighting guy. I might need to change. I've got these issues. I need to change this inside of Revit. And we're going to be using the new issues tool to be able to do this. So I'm going to head to my lighting. Um, and like I say, this is live. So um, bear with, sorry, on the loading times, I might cut some of these out. Um, but once this is opened up, I'm just going to then need to navigate to uh, the view that I'm going to want to fix these in, which I have set up. Um, so I do have a coordination view here. Um, you can set one of these up. It's going to be useful to have uh, a 3D view that um, kind of goes through perhaps all of the different disciplines that you might be coordinating with. Um, and I've got my lighting and I've got my um, fire um, pendants in here as well. So to get the issues, you will need to go to um, and download the add-on. This is actually in your Autodesk um, downloads. It's, it's quite an official um, uh, thing to install. But the way it works is it's very simple. You just open this up and you're going to see your um, issues uh, window on the right here. Um, what you might need to do, and this is kind of interesting that the way that this works, is you need to be able to um, load the issues from specific models. So what it does, what this issues um, area actually does, is it looks inside the BIM 360 project that this is on, and it finds all the models that relate to this model here. And then it gives you the number of issues against them. Now, this could be really useful if you weren't looking at maybe doing clashes. You were just looking at maybe sending stuff to do to somebody so that they could fix them. So, for instance, perhaps this isn't something we're looking in terms of clashes. We're looking at maybe a design manager who just needs to tell the designer some things that he needs to change. And they might be using issues to do that. And so we would just then select the model that has issues against them. Uh, select open and then all the issues that are related to that specific model are there. And we actually have two issues here. I did do a, a quick test just before this one. The one that we just looked at was this ceiling light round here. So I can just select that. And what Revit does in this case is it just selects that particular um, item that um, relates to this issue. And so what I can do here, um, I'm not going to be terribly design um, conscious about the way I move this, but I can move this out of the way. I can then answer that issue inside of Revit. So I moved. And then I can click done. And I would just go through the issues and just carry on um, answering each of those issues one by one, fixing all the things that are in here. And then once um, that's all done, I can just close off my issues. And then this is all going to be communicated back to um, whoever was the person who communicated those issues to me. So if I go to my assigned issues in here, I can see that that one hasn't in, in fact been answered. If I click on this, I could then go to that issue. I'm not going to upload this uh, model into here um, just because it does take a little while to run the clashes and run the models. Um, but this is how you can use that issues model. This is how you can use the coordination model to communicate those issues away from each other. Like I said, it doesn't have to be done through the coordination. You could just be running issues because you want to communicate as a design manager internally things, or maybe even tasks to people um, to pick up inside the Revit model. So I hope this has been useful. Um, if there are any questions, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with us here at Man and Machine. Thanks very much.